Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License. I see Lunar <laughs> found the first. Um, I added a new channel point redeem. So whoever is first in the stream can now declare their firstness <laughs> with, this, uh, with this fun little channel point redeem. The way it's set up, if I did it right, is that it should only let you do it once and then no one else can do it the whole stream. Hopefully I did it right. So congratulations, Lunar. Whoa, already, already Kendra is finding the other new channel point redeem that I put on the channel. So I want to say a big, big thank you to Lar for um, getting me these uh, ears that were on my wish list on Amazon for a while. You know, it's one of those things like everything I put on there, I don't really expect people to get me or anything like that. So when it comes, it's like a huge surprise. <laughs> All right, Kendra wants purple. Let me find my purple ones. And uh, we can definitely do some purple. These ones I'm wearing right now are holographic. You can see, you can see the, the rainbows. You can see the rainbows. We'll switch to purple though. Okay. Yes, I love your wolf ears, Lunar. Um, they're very inspiring and uh, and I saw yours first and then I saw these browsing on Amazon and I was like, oh Oh, I have to do that so I can be like Lunar <gasps> Oh my gosh, Lore! Please a spell to choose the cat ear color. There already is one, but thank you <laughs> I guess now it's official. Um, I just changed them to purple from Kendra's redeem But uh, but yes, there is there is a redeem to change the color um, I don't know. I mean you might be you might be blind far, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It should be on a five minute timer. So if you want to change it from purple in just a few minutes, you are more than welcome to. Um, we'll do a different color. I'll change it as much as you guys, as, as many times as you guys want. But yeah, new new channel redeems in honor of uh, these beautiful cat ears that Lar got me. And, um, you know, it just found, it felt like since I was adding that one time to add another one too. So we have the first one as well. Um, also, breaking news, right before stream, one of my peelies popped off, so I'm like, got a naked nail. I sort of fixed it, I put base coat on and stuff so it's protected, but, um, I'm actually gonna, you know, periodically put some more nail polish on this freaking, this poor nail, right before stream, with no time to fix it, you know how that goes. New chat activity, fighting over cat years. Yes, exactly, Kendra, that's what I want. Yeah, it was Katie. Um, Lunar was first. Lunar beat you to it, Katie. <laughs> Lunar beat you to it. She was first. I think it was pretty much like Kendra and Lunar popped into the chat um, at basically the same time, and uh, and Lunar found the redeem first. If it's all working correctly, then no one else should be able to redeem it. It shouldn't work until I go live on Saturday, and then someone else can try to be first. <laughs> so yes, yes, okay. So another thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that on Saturday, we are doing an Among Us episode of Interstage Window. So please be here on Saturday. That's at noon. And then um, we're going to be doing this one just like we've done our other Interstage Window Among Us episodes. And the topic is your first role play character. So I want to hear about all that cringe. I want to hear about your hooded figure in the corner of the tavern. I want to hear about your ninja in the rafters. I want to hear about your cat girl in the trees. Okay, so that is what the topic is. So the way that this works, if you've not come to one of our Among Us streams that we have on Saturdays before, if you are part of the cast members, which means that like I know you somehow, I trust you, or you've been a guest on the stream before, or things like that, then you have access to the voice chat. If we're friends and you don't have access to the voice chat and you want to, please hit me up. If I already know you, I'll help you out. I'll, I'll get you in there, whatever we need to do. And basically we can all play Among Us. I'll share the code so that anybody can play. And if you want to be included in the voice chat with us during Among Us, then your ticket to joining is to tell us about your first role play character. And that's what we'll be talking about as we try to find whoever is sus in Among Us. Your lighting is magical today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Katie. I've been like fiddling with it so that it shows up, you know, better on stream and stuff like that. So I've got like blue. Let me put my hand there so you can see it. So you can see on my hand, I've got blue on this side and I've got pink on this side, which you can see really well on the camera today. 
Uh, thank you so much, Kendra. I'm trying to vibe. You know, this is really, this is really just my real ears. You know, um, I know that Lara bought these for me, but I really feel like these were the ears that I should have been born with. You know what I mean? So I could just do my hair like this so that y'all can't see my human ears. And like these, these are the ones that I really hear with. Y'all understand. Y'all get how it works. Exactly. All is right with my ears now, Katie. You got it. So yeah, if you've not been to one of our, our Among Us episodes before, um, I highly recommend you come to that on Saturday, uh, noon to 2 Eastern. And, um, and if you have before, then you know it's a really good time and uh, you should definitely come. I'm going to put another coat on this nail. I'm trying to fix it because it popped off right before stream. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. But I know y'all will be patient with me and let me. It's just one nail. Let me kind of do these coats as uh, as it dries. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, Yumi would understand. Yumi would definitely understand. Okay, I have another thing as well. This is a question for you guys. Tell me how y'all feel about this. So after the Among Us episode, the next episode of Interstage Window is going to be our last Viva Pinata episode before we start Sims 2. And also... Landon is graduating college. Yay! She's finishing her education degree, um, and she's going through her graduation on that Saturday, so that's not this coming Saturday, but the next one. So what I want to do for the last Interstage Window episode, because Landon's not going to be there and because it's the last um, Viva Pinata episode of that show before we move on to something else, is I think I want to do it like AMA style, but try to be like role play questions. So what I'm thinking is that I create like a, a Google Doc form thingy, a Google form thing, and y'all can submit questions in there. I'll also take questions from the chat, of course, but that way some people can submit questions even if they can't be there on Saturday. We can have, you know, a lot of good ones. You guys can have some time to think about what kind of role play stuff you want to ask and want to talk about. And that way it's not like a specific topic. It's more just like, hey, what are some things that you think would be good to chat about on the stream? And we can do that with that, what do you guys think for that as like our final Viva Pinata interstage window episode as we round out that game before we start on Sims 2? I'm so excited to do the Legacy Challenge, y'all. I've never actually finished one. So yeah, I think we had fun, Katie. I think we had fun with like the regular um, AMA that we did during Final Fantasy. So that's what I'm thinking, like a role play themed AMA for interstage window. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think people would really like it. And some of the people that, you know, are around in the middle of the day on Saturday that can't come to these streams would still get to experience some of that AMA um, fun stuff that we did on that one Thursday. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Because that's kind of what I want it to be special. You know, if it's the last of you pinata episode, I want it to be a little special, a little bit different. You know what I mean? All right. That's all my stuff for right now. Yesterday's spare room episode, we did another MBTI types episode, ENTJs and ENTPs. Um, this one was a lot of fun. This one was a lot of fun. Uh, good. Uh, these are big, like, um, leadership types. Uh, these are big leadership types. We've, this is the second typing, MBTI typing video that I've done. Um, these videos have the same, the same issues that the, whoop, that the Zodiac videos had. Uh, they don't get a huge amount of views, so if you've not watched the set and you really like me doing those inspiration episodes, please make sure you go give it a watch, give it a nice little view so it can continue to go on. Um, I don't think anything's going to really stop me making these type of episodes, but just they do not get the views that some of the other episodes, type of episodes that I do get. So if you like these, please make sure you give it a little watch. And, uh, and when you watch this, I'm sure you'll be reminded of all of the ENTJs and ENTPs that are in your life. <laughs> all right, let's get started with some Final Fantasy, y'all. All right, let's turn our volume up. Does that look good? Looks a little louder. So, let's do like that. All right, so, because I got interrupted at the very end of stream last time we played Final Fantasy, I had to run back to a previous save server. But that's okay, because this is where we wanted to backtrack to anyway. So I just ran back to Makalania Woods, if y'all remember where, where that is. And there is a scene that we're going to watch here. But first, I want to talk to these guys. 
I'm supposed to meet my husband here, but he hasn't shown up for the longest time. I hope nothing bad has happened. Me too, lady. I'm supposed to meet my dad here, but he's late. Uh-oh. That sucks. Mom heard I was planning on streaming, and she asks if I'm going to be a pool streamer. Tell her yes. Um, your, uh, your Crusader King streams are going to be hot tub streams. All right, Dex Sphere. This was that scene, and I know Thumper's not here yet. I'm so sorry, Thumper. You'll have to watch it later on the VODs. Uh, this was the this, this scene that I was talking about before. We're going to take a look. Let's learn a little about Jack's past. Who are you? You are the one they called Jack. The man from Xanarkand, are you not? What of it? Watch your tongue, Maeve. Orin with no grays. Apologies. I am Braska, a summoner. I've come to take you from this place. Mm, sounds sweet. What's the catch? <laughs> that easy to see, was it? I soon leave on a pilgrimage to Xanarkin. You're right, Kendra. Seriously? Hmm. I would like you to join us. It will be a dangerous trip. Yuna's dad is just a robe. If we do reach Xanarkand, my prayers will be answered, and you will be able to go home, we think. What say you? Quick, let's go! Hmm. So quick? Anything to get out of here! Then it's settled. But I must protest. This drunkard, a guardian? Hey! You want to step in here and say that? What does it matter? No one truly believes that I, a fallen summoner wed to an albed, could possibly defeat sin. This is what they say. No one expects us to succeed. Braska, sir. <laughs> Let's show them they're wrong. A fallen summoner, a man from Xanarkin, and a warrior monk doomed to obscurity for refusing the hand of the priest's daughter. What delightful irony it would be if we defeated Sin. Stop gabbing and get me out of here. So entire Orin is gay headcanons are built off that line. Xanarkand. Right, right. So, what's a summoner anyway? He so sounds like Titus. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of backstory there for um for Orin and Jekt and Braska. Now we gotta go back to where we were before. I just like to backtrack and go ahead and get that scene. Oh, I wonder what happens if we talk to him. This is back to Bavel, but we can't go there. Yeah. You can't enter Bavel now. The guard is on full alert, you know. So just go back to where you came from. Got it? I got it. Don't you worry. I go and back. Hey, did you hear? They're saying there was a riot in Bavel. What? The warrior monks aren't letting pilgrims into Bavel anymore. Oh no. We messed it up for the other ones too. That's awful. Then there's a chest up here. You can go back to get this. You can't get it when you're first in here. We get a little lucid ring. I'm supposed to meet my family here, but they're nowhere in sight. No, they're waiting over in Makalania. What, really? Thanks, kid. Yeah, they're in the deeper part of the woods. All right. We reunited them. That's nice. And now we're in the calm lands. Mm -hmm. 
much I love the music in this area. So soothing. The Calmlands. Long ago, the High Summoners fought Sin here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. I've always known where to go. I... I won't let you die. I'll find a way, somehow. So nice of you, Ty. Yuna, I would find a way. I guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. Yeah, Katie, I love this big landscape shot here. So much of this game takes place on just roads that you travel on. It's just really nice to see this big sweeping landscape. Um, and to answer your question, um, Yes, Yuna is technically married to Seymour right now. And uh because he didn't he didn't die, they didn't kill him. So technically she is a married woman. Yeah. Oh, that still didn't kill it. I need to level up here. That's okay, there should be lots of random battles here. <clears throat> Let's get Waka in here. You don't like this this color this color of the wasp? The um black and red one? I think it's pretty cool. And we've got Fire Flan. Lava Smash, Bug Pass, Rock Pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the consensus, right? Um, the the flans, all the kinds of flans are pretty good on the smash scale. Would not smash, would not smash the bug. I mean, I can't really blame you, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is. Gosh, they hurt. They hurt, they hurt. I have to get leveled up here. We should get lots of experience running around here. Oh, I didn't do my sphere grid. Oh, let me do that real quick. I need all the experience I can get. We're actually going to have, later on, probably not this episode, but later on we're going to have some actually, like, harder boss battles coming up. Which is unusual for this game. Most of it is incredibly easy. If, especially if you know the strategies. But actually when we get to the next area, there's some much harder boss battles. I don't want to miss out on this good opportunity here in the Calm Lands to get leveled up. Good. 
All right, let's go talk to our lore guy. Give me some lore, man. Perhaps you would like to know a bit about these planes. You know I would. Mm -hmm. As you know, these planes were once a battlefield. A great battle between Bavel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. Perfect for a final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. Probably terrified. When sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. Thank you so much for that good, good lore. All right, one other thing with the redeems for tonight. The kittens are looking absolutely adorable and doing really, really well. So if y'all want to do the See the Baby redeem, I can go get a kitten for just a little while. Um, do I need to steal from the school? I don't need to steal. Just these guys. Um, so, if y'all would like to see a kitten at some point during the stream, use that redeem. And, um, and I'll go get one for a few minutes. <laughs> of course, Kendra instantly. Um, okay, so Kendra, um, what, which kitten would you like me to go get? Do you want me to get one of the black and white kittens or do you want me to get one of the tabby kittens? What do you think? Pass on all these foes. I don't know. I like the wolf design. But pass on the rest. Dragon back? You want to see dragon back? Okay. I'll go get her. Smash the robot. No way, Katie. No way. But you do you. No shame here. <laughs> but not for me. I'm good. Robo smash for you too, Kendra? I don't know. Definitely not interested. Myself. This one is mine. There you go, Walker. You got it. The wolf looks too needy. What? It's just fast. It's just a fast boy. That's why it, it moves like that. <clears throat> Alright, Kimari needs to come in. There we go. And come back, Waka, and get that other fly. There we go. Robot would last for- <laughs> Oh my word! Y'all's cray. But I see the logic, I see the logic. Okay. I'm just gonna run down to the end of this, and then I'll go grab Dragon back for you, Kendra. Alright, come on Riku, I need you to steal things. <clears throat> you know what's up. <laughs> hey, whatever works for you, you know what I mean? No shame, it is what it is. Oh, nope, I need to steal from the flame plan. Alright, come here, Orin. Those things should die in the one hit from Auron. The fact that they don't lets me know I really need to level up. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay. I don't know why it's called Dragonback, so I can't wait to see. Because it's got a dragon on its back! I'll show you. Hopefully it won't be too upset. I mean, taking it away from its siblings and mom for a second. The pattern still looks like that. It's just longer now because she's bigger. So it's like looks a little bit more like a curly cue and less like an actual like dragon shape. All right. I'm going to go get dragon back. I'll be right back.
Here we go. Oh, there's hi. Here. Hey. They were just eating, so she's very sleepy. See? And she's got this cool little pattern. Get on it, back. Karen! Oh, thank you so much, Katie. Thank you so much. Here we go. Little dragon back. She's sleepy because she just ate. They were all just sleeping on mom after they ate. But here she is. She's a very sweet one. She turns her personality is very sweet. And you can see she's got like black and pink toe beans. Multicolor. Baby. Hello. Be very cute. Some of them are more screamy than others, but she's very she's a very sweet one, not very screamy. Isn't that right, baby? Isn't that right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put Dragon back back. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay. What do you mean, Kendra? What self-control? What's that mean? I love the kittens. Okay, we're gonna buy a couple of things from this one. We're gonna get this curative targe. Automed is gonna be super useful. And then the other thing I wanna get is the buckler. Magic counter. Yes, I want magic counter. I would have kept the kitty. <laughs> oh no, it has to go back to its mom and siblings. Okay, I'm trying to remember. I, I've got little notes here about where I want to go in what order because you can just wander around here and it can take freaking forever. Um, okay, we need to go to the travel agency. We're going to cross over this way. <clears throat> No, she's sleeping. She can sleep on me. <gasps> oh my gosh. I mean, I want them to be socialized with humans, but I want them to be socialized with their siblings too. And some of them are taking a little bit longer than others at some of that socialization. Like, I brought the little tabby out of the room because um, my mom was very interested in the little tabby. And, uh, oh my god, it cried the whole time. It did not want to be taken away from its siblings. Um, it was very upset. Oh, I meant to pull out Waka. <laughs> I know you're serious. I know you're serious. And I probably could have and it would have been fine. But I'm going to let her sleep with her siblings. Because she needs to be socialized with both. I don't want anyone, any of those kittens ending up in a situation like Coke is where Coke gets along with humans just fine and she doesn't get along with other cats super well. Like that's not ideal either. She needs to get along with both that she's super adoptable. But like the tabby is an example of one that needs a little bit more work. She needs a little, little bit more work. She does not like being taken away from her siblings. But she's also part of the litter that's a few days younger. Um, whereas the dragon back is part of um, Coke's litter who is a few days older. And still definitely looking for more people to come take kittens. They will be ready that first weekend of June-ish um, is when is the earliest any of them can be taken from their moms, provided they're fully weaned. Hopefully by then they all will be, but, you know, it'll just kind of depend. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody's interested, then hit me up. Let me know so I can get you all the info on where to go. Get some kittens because they need homes. Obviously, I cannot keep eight kittens. <laughs> As much fun as that would be. <laughs> I have neither the time nor the money for that. I know, right? I know, right, Kendra? It would have been a perfect time for a road trip across the country for you. It's really a shame. I don't know, Thumper. I don't live that far away from you. I know it would still be 
it would be annoying. Um, it would be an annoyingly long trip, but you could do it. I'm just saying. You could. Oh, yay. Titus got a new overdrive mode. So Sweet. All right, come, Lulu. Kill the... Kill the flan. I know you could make it happen, Thumper. You could do it. Get like a friend or your mom or something to come with you, and you can be like, oh, it's road trip, yeah! Fran's road trip. Oh no, Lulu. Uh, let's get out here. Heal him up. Mm. Love a car right in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> in the middle of a panoramic. I wish it was a panoramic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's just that at the end of the road trip, there's really cute kittens. So, <laughs> I think you could find somebody that would agree to this. They'd be down. They'd be down for the, the shenanigans <laughs> of an 11-hour road trip for kittens. <clears throat> you know you got that one friend. You know that you got that one friend that's like that. <laughs> Emperor, I was going to come from my side of the country for a kitten. It's true. <laughs> Kendra felt compelled. For real, though, I mean, I'm peer pressuring you, but not really. Like, if you really can't, then it's no big deal. We have a very nice SPCA here, and um, the kittens and mamas that we're not keeping will go to the SPCA. And they're so cute, and they're going to be well socialized, so they'll get adopted. Um, I'm not really worried about all that. It will be fine for them. Feel more from him. Boom. Oh, almost killed him. <laughs> Kendra, you're just doing what needs to be done. You're just doing what needs to be done for the greater good. I mean, it's pretty compelling when you have, like, daily pictures from the time that the cats were born. I totally understand that. Alright, and then... Bloop. I love cats, too. I love cats, too. I mean, that's how these cats ended up in the house, because we love cats. <laughs> So, you know, when they made it clear they wanted to come in the house, it was like, well, obviously, we're going to let you guys in the house. Little did we know it was like all a ploy and a plot so that we would help them with their kittens. Because <laughs> we had no idea they were pregnant at that time. Feel bad putting a little kitten through that kind of long haul. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yes, when you go to the shelter, it's a little bit of a of a crapshoot. You don't really know. I mean, you hope. Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yunan? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinok's murderer. What you say? <clears throat> Please, tell us what has happened. Maester Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kenok and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kenok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. 
But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see... this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. Thanks, Hazuk. I'm not picking at it, Kendra. I'm repainting it. So it'll be fixed. Welcome, Jane. It is Thursday night. That's right. You know it, because I am here. Messy. What is? Yevon, Micah, and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. Mm. If Yevon founders, so will Spira. Flounders, not founders. If Yevon founders, so will Spira. She's not stopping, is she? Yuna, she's made her decision. But I can't just let her go. We won't have to. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? Oh, I'm tired of talking to you. It's always but this, but that. But... <laughs> Let's think together. Okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. Kendra, I'm so excited for your um for you to start streaming for real. I think you're gonna be really good at it. This is a toughie. It is, Riku. So we are officially traitors then. Hey, let them say what they want. It's it's okay. I'm not worried. Well, maybe just a little. It's so hard not to be. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yell. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. I wonder if my father got lost here, too. Good question. Maybe. With my old man helping him. Maybe I'll ask <gasps> Sir Oren. Oren? Well, that grouch never tells me anything. <laughs> that is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he keeps out of other people's business. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, Thumper. Yes! You've got to do some art live streams. I had no idea you were that good at coloring. Like, until I saw that one that you posted, I would love to watch some more of that. Just a little farther to Xanarkand. Right. If you haven't... Yeah, I did talk. Did I just get all of her lines? Yeah. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. Oh. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bavel Temple. Mm. This is a little more than halfway, Lulu. This is my third pilgrimage as a guardian. Father Zook was my second. And my first? Well... It ended here, too. I've never been to the lands beyond. Oh my god, I love that thumper. Mount Gagazet towers to the north, and Xanarkand lies beyond that. When I was guarding Zook, I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. Oh yeah. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, to tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Mm. Xanarkin's right around the corner. So close already. Right. Gagazet is Ronso land. Kimari home. 
Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kimari has no family. Oh, uh, sorry. But Kimari not alone. Sacred Mountain Gagazet, not changed for 1,000 years. Sacred Mountain Gagazet. Okay. Did I talk to everybody? Yes, I did. Okay, let's do Sphere Grid real quick. And we've got a mini, a mini little boss fight we're gonna go do. Oh good, she's got Demi. Fabulous. Okay. Also, thank you. I love coloring so much. Line art is hard. Coloring is much easier. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I'm not a digital artist, so I don't really know that much. Um, but what you say definitely rings true for the little bit that I do know from some of like the graphic design things that I've done um, and stuff that I have to do for like instructional design at work and things like that. But it's still not easy. Like you had like shading and like um, like these fancy blurs and like, I mean, I saw some good stuff in there that was not like you know, just easy mode coloring. So give yourself a little credit. All right, I want to save. Yes, that's fine. And save over here. All right. There should be, should be over here, I think. There we go. Yes. You again. You're quite the notorious traitor these days. What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't take what the Maester say too seriously. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. So, are you up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit. But you'll need more to beat Sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Yeah, another one. Another Belgamine duel, just like the ones that we've done so far. Excellent. It's not hard. Because <clears throat> we've got lots of Aeons, and she's got one that she's going to use. I've just healed your Aeons for you. Let us begin. Finally use three brushes total. Well, I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to use multiple brushes. Like, that's, <laughs> so that's still, like, amazing to me. Was it to ya? <laughs> Thumper, do you have enough to get a command? I feel like you probably do. Choose your Aeon well, summoner. Okay. We're going to summon Floofy. Eat her up, Floofy. But since we have three others, we can use if he doesn't. <clears throat> this one's pretty easy. Like, really, the only Belgamine fight that's kind of difficult is the very first one that you do, because you only can you only have one summon that you can use against hers. But at this point, when you have this many against one, it's very easy. I keep using mine on littler things like making you show me cats. <laughs> uh, well, whatever makes you happy. I mean, the spell reagents are there for you to have fun with, so... Whatever you like, Kendra. Does this do more damage if I fire her? No, it doesn't. Even though she's ice. Alright, we'll just impulse then. If you manage to lose this, you got talent. Well, I get to use the... I think I might get to use his, um, overdrive before she kills him. Stop kicking me, lady. Smash on both of these Aeons, by the way. I think we talked about that last time when we got Bahamut, but smash on both of these guys. 
for sure. Yeah, overdrive, mega flare. Oh, I know what I can do. I think I have the go the baby thing. Just set to once per stream, but let me go change that so we can do it again a little bit. Gosh, the overdrive didn't kill her. Oh, God. Let's see. No, I don't want to be famous, Mr. Bot. Leave me alone. Yeah, definitely, Katie. Would smash on both of these guys. Fixing this, um, redeem. There we go. It should... It should let you do see the baby again now. And we can go get a different kitten. If y'all would like to see that. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of the, the bots, Kendra. Appreciate ya. I tried to set it up to automatic... But all it never got rid of them. It just made Thumper be quiet. And that wasn't right. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to stop all that. I had to stop all that automatic pot stuff. It didn't work. <laughs> okay. Kill it this time? Maybe? Are you dead? Belgamine Shiva? Yes. Thank God. I was gonna make a cat joke, but I had to stop to swart my own Final Fantasy X boss, the bot. <laughs> <laughs> you do, and you should be able to do those, Thumper. I couldn't I can't take that away from you. Impressive. Remarkable talent. Traitor or no. You may have what it takes to beat Sin. Thank you. Take this. You have earned it. I mean, we're the main characters, so I think we do. Thank you. I think you will do just fine. But if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remium. Okay. I'll be waiting there. Farewell. Remium. Oh, this is another. So what this does is. You know how we can give them abilities? You can give them stats now, too. I'm just going to click through this really fast, because I know how to do this. We don't need the tutorial. It's exactly... It works exactly like the ones where you do the um, abilities. You can just give them stats. Okay. Now we are going to go behind this uh, travel agency for a chest. I love the design of these guys. They're... Okay. Regardless of smash or pass, like, these things are cool as hell. Like, look at them. Look at, like, their long, wavy whiskers and, like, the magic and the fluffy tails. Like, these are the coolest, okay? These guys are amazing. Yeah, I love them so much. Ten out of ten wood pet. Absolutely. I want to take one home with me. <clears throat> They're like literally one of my favorite monster designs in this game. As far as like just the regular non-boss monsters and stuff like that goes. I freaking love them. What is it, Riri? Are you okay? No smash or pass, just pets in love. Exactly. Exactly. Come here, Orin. So be it. 
Boom. Wait, is anybody not gone? I think everybody's gone but Yuna. Yeah, no smash or pass, just pets in love. 10 out of 10, wood pet. Alright, come here, Titus. I mean, if we have to choose, then smash, I guess, but overwhelmingly... <gasps> no, rude! Overwhelmingly, I just want to pet them. The stream has become Catholic. <laughs> just like the game! <laughs> We're really leaning into it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love cats, too. Especially these guys. They're freaking adorable. Well, I am Catholic. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, but Katie, that's not what she means. That's not what they mean. <laughs> that is not that is not what them for means uh, when they say Catholic. You know the type. All right, so we're going to get this chest for some level two key spheres. And then the next place to head up is in this corner over here. There's a couple of things we're going to do up here. If the Pope can demand it. <laughs> my word. My word. Oh my. <clears throat> this corner has some really annoying freaking monsters. The first. We don't want anyone stoned because they'll get smashed. There is no exclamation thumper yet, Jane. They haven't picked one. <clears throat> I know the meme. <laughs> There's just certain words that I don't want to say out loud um, that I think are maybe a little bit too much sometimes. You know, it's got to be like really appropriate usage. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is annoying. All right, so they have petrify grenades. I don't I don't think I actually need those for anything. All right. Why don't you do that? And let's switch you out for Yuna. That is very low HP walk. I'm surprised you survived. Let's get Titus back in here. Goodbye. Now there's only one. And come on, Kimari. Everybody likes Dobby. <laughs> oh no. Katie, now you have to click it. Yeah, you thought. You thought. <clears throat> but I got you. Alright. Everybody's like, so low. Let's get some X potions. There we go. There is an Albed primer up here. Oh, battle before we got to it. Let's get em, guys. Okay, we'll get him. I think these guys I do need to steal from. Chimera Brain? Yeah, yeah, they have, they have ice gems. That's right. Yeah, you can do mug, that's fine. Smash, absolutely. I mean, this is just a color swap of those um, monsters that we saw before. And I think everyone wholeheartedly agreed these were smash. For sure. Oh, 
don't think Waka's attacked. Let's get him in here. Uh, thank you for the alert, Kendra. Appreciate you staying on, even if you're busy or things like that. Yeah, these are definitely Hella Smash Thumper. No freaking question. Alright, come on, Kimari. It is so tempting to, like, skip these battles because they take freaking forever. Especially in this little corner of the Calm Lands, there's, like, just all these things that just take forever to kill. But I really need the experience, so we're gonna fight everything. Every random battle, we're gonna fight it. We prepare! I also forgot to mention that X has become Catholic is a meme. What? I don't know that meme. X has become Catholic? You're gonna have to show me the meme. Like, link it in the Discord or something, so I don't think I've seen that. I thought you were referencing things earlier in the game. <laughs> Since um, this game is a, is a critique on Catholicism in a lot of ways. Sasuke has become Catholic. Okay, so here's the primer up here that we can get. Alright. Woo! Higher rank. Alright. So we got that. I'm going to try to find a Malbro up here. There should be one eventually. Prophetic. I'm prophetic. I'm prophetic, y'all. What I what was what? What the what? I did not think I would find one so quickly. Usually I run around here for forever looking for one. <laughs> I put the original in the cast members. Okay, thank you. I'll take a look at that later. Free! How's it going? You have joined us. Are you having a good day today? Oh, you know, I said all that and I just had Kimari attack instead of Lancet. I wanted to find one because Kimari needs to Lancet it. All right, do the Lancet before I forget about it again. And there we go. Learn bad breath. Fabulous. Alright. I don't think Titus has attacked yet. Let's get Lulu in here. And then maybe Waka can smash it. <laughs> One coos. <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I spent hours picking out outfits for a character TikTok, so now I'm exhausted. Oh, for a TikTok that you're making? I'll have to go watch that. Tell me when it's tell me when it's up. Like link it to me or something so that I can make sure that I watch that. I'm doing good. Oh, so we had um we had a we had a really good dinner tonight. Um <clears throat> we found out that poke pokey bros or however you say that word uh, opened up, and it, one of them opened up near us, which is a chain where you can get poke, um, or poke, however you're supposed to say it. I don't know. All I know is it's delicious and I eat it. And um, so we had that for dinner tonight, and uh, we got that, and then another new place that opened was like a, a bubble tea and ice cream place, and we got some cheese tea from there, which um, I had never tried real cheese tea before, but I've seen it like on videos and stuff when it was really popular back, I don't know, before the pandemic even, like a little while ago. And, um, so I finally tried it, and y'all, cheese tea is the best thing. Cheese tea is the best thing freaking ever. It is amazing, delicious. I want to try more flavors. It is so freaking good. And the good ass Fuji, it always makes me jealous. <laughs> Brie, I don't know what to tell you, okay? I have two things, I have two things going for me in regards to good food. I'll tell you my secrets. Um, first, I live in the Charleston area, and we have very, very good food in the Charleston area. Uh, anybody who's ever visited around here or lived here before knows the truth of that. 
So um, there's that. And then, of course, my husband is an amazing cook. Y'all know he's very, very good on the grill and on the smoker. Um, and even in just the regular kitchen, too. Like, that's good, too. So, you know, I have I have multiple things going for me in that regard. Rip to the to lactose intolerant hose in the chat. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually got lactose in it. Um, I'm not a, I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sure, but uh, but I really enjoyed it. And it had like this foam stuff on the top that probably is milk based, but I don't know. Apparently there's going to be a tapioca shortage. Wait, Thumper, why is there going to be a tapioca shortage? Uh oh, everyone's confused. Oh wait, no, he's not anymore. Okay. Come on, Yuna. Let's Asuna. It's the cream cheese in it. Yeah, I think it is cream cheese based. I think it's cream cheese based. Like a cream cheese based foam is what I think it is. <clears throat> Sorry, Canada, you've let me down. <laughs> Although I visited um, Vancouver at one point. And, uh, and I thought, I, I really enjoyed my time in Vancouver. You know, I have no complaints on the food there. It was great. Um, I, I think I've got the right city. It's whatever the big city is on the west coast of Canada. Vancouver, Toronto, one of those. I can't, I don't know anything about it. But it's whatever that big city is on the west coast of Canada. That's the one I've been to. Um, and it was great. I was impressed. <clears throat> it's still like liquid. Texture is a big thing. Yes, it's still liquid. This was liquid. Um... It was not, <clears throat> it was not like um, actual cream cheese or anything like that. But I think it was like a cream cheese based foam. I think. I'm not actually sure what it was. I just know I really enjoyed it. It's all because of the prophylactic. Oh, you, you getting in there using them fancy science words, Thumper. You know I don't talk like that. I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> all right. Let's get Oren. Now all I want is a cream cheese everything bagel. Oh, that sounds really good, Katie. I love an everything bagel with some lox and cream cheese and capers. Mm-hmm. Delicious. All right. Fill these guys up just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to talk to this person. I hope you're not planning to cross this place on foot. I already basically have. I already basically have. But yes, I would like to ride a chocobo. Well, these plains are home to lots of wild chocobos. First, we must train them to be dependable mounts. I'm training some chocobos now, but they're not quite tame yet. I'm sorry I can't lend you any. Uh-oh. Walking might be faster than waiting for one of my chocobos. I'll train one. That's easier said than done. It's not that simple, you know. You're sure you want to try? Of course. All right, come with me. Okay. Vancouver's in British Columbia. Toronto is where I live in the middle of Canada. I've never been there, but maybe I'll have to now I'm a foodie or a snacky. <laughs> You're definitely a snacky, Brie. I feel like that's true. Um, yeah, Vancouver must have been the one that I was there. Prophylactic is preventative measures. Like you have a accidental needle stick, you take a prophylactic treatment to avoid HIV or hepatitis infection. Oh, okay, okay. I do know what that is. Just get from where you are to where I am before the time runs out. I'm very bad at this mini game, y'all. I'm very bad at this mini game, so I'm gonna try to concentrate, see if I can pass it without having to do it over and over. Since you're riding a wild chocobo, it'll just run whichever way it feels like. Press left and right to steer it between my chocobo and me. Keep an eye on the clock and try not to miss the finish line. Don't hesitate to ask about the controls if you need help. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? We'll shoot for 12.8 seconds. I'm, I'm ready. Ready as I'm gonna get. Did I do it in time? All right, you crossed the finish line. I clocked you at 13.4. <laughs> oh, thank you, Katie. Um, I didn't do it though. Okay, let's try again. I usually have to try it a couple times. I'm particularly bad at this mini game. Dang it, still too slow. 
Yeah, I love the chickens too. There's like faster times you have to get. This minigame gets more complicated later in the game. And there's things you have to do to, to do it. So, like I can never pass the harder ones even. Like I struggle with just this beginning piece. Although I will eventually pass it. Did I do it? That felt faster. He clocked it in at 12.8. Is that good enough? Or do I have to get faster? Ah, there we go. Okay. Fun fact, there's a promising malaria vaccine being developed. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool, Thumper! By the way, your chocobo is ready for some advanced training now. Yeah, we are not going to do the advanced training. Maybe later. Here's your prize. Whenever you tie or break your record, you'll get a prize like this. Fabulous. Elixir! How the heck did Katie appear? No, that wasn't Katie's voice. That was from that was a sound alert. But she had uh, done the sound alert. All right, I quit. We're not doing any more training. I unlocked the chocobos. That's all I needed. Would you like to ride a chocobo? Let me ride. All righty. So now we're gonna go all the way back across the calm lands and down in the southeast corner over here. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Thumper. I will take that. <clears throat> yeah, I was saying thank you for that one because it actually cost 10 cents for Katie to do that particular sound alert. So I want to say thank you. All right, there's some chests down here that we're going to pop off the chocobo to get. 5,000 gil in that one. And 10,000 gil in that one. All right, now we're going to head back this way and go back up the ramp where we started on. Remember how Belgamine said to meet her at the secret temple? We're actually going to go in there just a little bit. We're not really going to do that. It's an, like an optional side quest thing that you can do, which we're not going to at the moment, but... There's an Albed Primer in there, so we're going to go get that. When you see these chocobo feathers on the ground, you can make your chocobo jump. I want spicy dill pickle Miss Vicky's, but I ate all three packs. <laughs> Brie, I so vibe with you on that. <laughs> I so vibe with you on that. Um, it's hard for me to not eat dill pickle chips. The best ones, though, are Golden Flake, but those Miss Vicky's spicy ones, they're good. But you have not lived as far as dill pickle chips go until you've tried the uh, Golden Flake dill pickle chips. Which, as far as I know, you can only get in the southeast in the U.S. I don't know of anywhere else that has them. Alright, so we go left here, I'm pretty sure. I think. Yes, there we go. Another primer. There we go. Q to X. Fabulous. And there's like a whole like side quest minigame thing here that we are not going to do right now. Um, we'll probably do that later. Do get something pretty cool for completing it. But right now we are good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I don't think that I don't think that y'all have them. I mean, you can't even find them in most of the U.S. So. I'd be really shocked if you found them in Canada. Y'all can keep your nasty vinegary chips. I got Old Bay Chips, King of Chips. You know what, Thumper? Sometimes you're right and sometimes you're wrong. And this is one of those wrong times. I'm just saying. You know, I don't make the rules. All right. There's another side quest in here that we're not going to do, but I just want to show it real quick. This here, this is like a monster capturing side quest. We're going to come back and do that later, but that exists over there. And that's all there really is to do in the Calm Lands. I'm going to do just a couple more random battles and to level up a little bit. And then we are going to leave this area. 
and go do the next thing. Yeah, whatever you say. Whatever you say, Thumper. I, uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> Especially if you're against vinegary chips. Then, like, you can't be right. You just can't. Let's get Walker out here. We kill that wasp. Boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Thumper. <laughs> that was not the intention, and you know it. Taking advantage. Taking advantage of my words. It's okay, I followed you. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Let's end this. Oh wait, Yuna didn't get in here. Come on, Yuna. Say a little prayer. Say a little prayer for me. Okay, then Lulu can come in and kill it. I have 2k left until I get a command. I need to start brainstorming. Yes, you do, Bree. Yes, you do. And people have some fancy commands, so... You know, you really gotta think about it. What do you want your command to be? And I think, I think Landon, um, almost has enough for a second command if she wants to get one. If Vinegar wanted to win my favor, it would not cause me instant revulsion. Oh, Thumper. You just don't understand the beauty of it. The burning that comes with vinegar is good. Thumper, then why haven't you chosen a command? We need we need some rapier wit that we can just like execute on command. You know what I'm saying? I can't even eat sushi and I like sushi. I don't, I don't, I can't relate. Sorry. <laughs> can't relate. Um, I mean, you know, I am not picky at all when it comes to food. And, uh, yeah, just can't relate to any of that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant for Kimari to attack that guy. I will literally get mad stomach aches. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's the worst. There are definitely foods that I would tolerate it for, but I have a stomach of steel. I really don't have a lot of those kind of issues. I was very, very lucky. Very lucky in that regard. <clears throat> yeah, I understand. I understand. I feel like that's kind of like, you know, people are like that are lactose intolerant. They'll be like, you know, oh, I can't eat it, but then there's like you know, that one food that they'll sacrifice it all for. <laughs> you know, whatever their favorite dairy is, they'll just eat it anyways, and then just suffer the consequences. I will not fail this time. No, you won't, Lulu. You've learned. Oh, yay, new mode for him. All right. Come on, Waka. Kill that bug. I'm also lactose intolerant, but I can like time that. Yeah, that's what I feel like people that are lactose intolerant have told me before. Like they'll just prepare for it, you know. Just go home right after and, you know, you know when it's going to happen, so it's all fine. Then you just deal. Oh, that was dumb. 
That was dumb, Titus. All right. Come on, Yuna. And then Lulu can kill the plan. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Next, let's get everybody healed up. Let's do our sphere grid. Oh no. Oh no, that sucks, Thumper. I am so sorry. No bueno. Yeah, Brie, that's where exclamation Brie will be listed once you get to that point. <laughs> because it started it. <laughs> I mean, I guess in your case it kind of did. Like, what are you going to do, you know? A sleep buster. That's nice. Nothing that way. Let's go down here. <clears throat> I think it's want to double check. Yeah, Titus has provoke. Okay. So let's make sure Titus goes there. Riku. Alright. All right. Wage an infinite war against acetic acid. <laughs> Alright, let's also give our Aeon some abilities. I think I got enough stuff to give them a couple things. Ooh, I can give him life. Life is so useless on the Aeons, though, because it's like, who are they going to cast it on? Okay, so we can give him Fyraga. And go in Bio. All right. Nuggles, can you learn a few of those same ones? Yes, you can get in Fyraga. Out of those. Okay. That's probably the extent of it from what we collected in the Calm Lands. Just gonna double check these guys. <clears throat> I feel like it has to be something with snacks. If it's not, I'm letting myself down. Looking like a snack with a snack. <laughs> Bree, it's whatever your heart desires. So long as it doesn't get me in trouble, I'll put whatever you want in there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save, because this guy coming up, he's not hard, but he has a lot of HP, so he can be a pain in the booty. Halt. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. Uh-oh. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. You tell him, Titus. Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. I warn you. The Maester doesn't need you alive.
Defender X. So the strategy with this guy is to use Provoke so that he can't use his move that actually will destroy me. So we're going to Provoke with Titus. And then he'll just use Haymaker, which is his... Or sorry, his Blast Punch is what he'll use, and he won't use Haymaker, which is a lot easier to handle. All right, so let's get some overdrives in here. I warn you, the maester doesn't need you alive. Yeah, and then they run away and then put this robot here to attack me. It's so silly. <laughs> Little do they know I'm the main character and I'm going to win no matter what. So they can have fun with that knowledge. I don't think, I think the best thing, because I think he's immune to all this stuff. Well, let's see if Bad Breath does anything. I don't think it will. Yeah, he's immune to like all of it. Annoying. <clears throat> all right, let's do Titus's. Dang it. Ah, didn't get it. Oh, nice. He learned a new one. Okay. Come on, Riku. And heal him. I don't know. I want. Not item. Use. And then. We're going to provoke again. Make sure that Provoke stays up. Not even sure if I have to use it more than once, because it just said... This said miss. That might be plenty. Let's let Yuna do a heal. It should just be Titus getting attacked and nobody else, since I used the Provoke. It doesn't have any elemental weaknesses, I'm pretty sure, so we'll just... Thundara Fury! Since he's a Machina, that feels right. But I don't think it actually matters. <sighs> Alright. Get some heavy hitters in here to whittle down that HP. Anything he can do that might help? Well, he can cheer. <clears throat> I am the snack. <laughs> Smash for obvious reasons. We know, Katie. We we know you like the um you like the machine ones. I'm sensing I'm sensing the pattern here. So, I get it. <clears throat> it's something for you guys to bond over. It's a nice thing. If you don't provoke him, he has his other attack called Haymaker, which instead of just taking off a percentage of your health like Blast Punch does, it, like, will absolutely wreck you if you let it. Um, it's really freaking annoying. Winter Soldier is my favorite Avenger robot arm. You know who um, else that is their favorite? Uh, Shadow. I know that she doesn't come to the streams super often, but uh, she's super into Bucky. You love Doctor Who, Katie. I agree. I agree, Katie. If you've not seen Doctor Who, you would really like it. Definitely up your alley for what you're into. And Jarvis. Love Jarvis. He's great. Jarvis is the best. Same, Katie. <laughs> I watched through um, Matt as well. 
And my issue was when they switched over to, it was Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman, I think is the actress's name. Um, I just found her in particular not a very interesting companion. And, uh, and that's what really made me stop watching was, you know, if I don't find the companion compelling, I, uh, I really struggle to be interested in Doctor Who is what I found out. Um, and I just didn't find her, I didn't find her anything, like she didn't evoke any feelings in me. I didn't find her um, an interesting or amusing or annoying or, or anything. Um, she was just kind of there. So that's what really made me stop watching, unfortunately. But I watched a lot of it, like I watched all just like you of Chris Eccleston, David Tennant, and Matt Smith, I think is his last name. I watched all those. Let's bring Lulu back. Jarvis x Loki is my favorite crack ship. <laughs> I could be down for that. I could be down for that. I use Jenna Coleman as a face claim. A lot of people use her as a face claim. Um, and I really struggle seeing her on Tumblr. Well, at least on, on as a Tumblr face claim, right? Because it's not happening in my imagination. Like, you're always seeing them. Seeing gifts of them and stuff. And I kind of struggled because I just was really thinking of those first couple episodes of her run of Doctor Who that I watched that I really didn't like. Um, but I don't have that problem on Discord at all because it's just happening in my imagination. And in my imagination, she's a much better actress, right? <laughs> um, so it's fine now. All right, heal him up, Riku. This guy has so much HP, it takes freaking forever to kill him. Very annoying. Let's see how far he's got. We've only got halfway. <laughs> In other games, people have room face claims from before, so same but in reverse. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've had some face claims ruined for me too. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Get back in here, Titus. I liked her a lot more in Victoria. I, that's I, a lot of people have said that. Um, not me though. Oh no, he slowed them all. Ah. Oh no. Will I'll bed potion fix that? Nope. It looks like they're still slowed. Dang it. Will Yuna's Asuna fix that? I think that fixed it. Looks like he started moving faster. Yeah, that fixes it. Got it. Asuna them. Albed Potion is not all powerful, it doesn't fix everything. Unfortunately. Alright, let's overdrive. <clears throat> Clara could have been so good, but they basically took all the worst qualities of the companions and mashed them into Clara and thrusted that she's not ordinary vibe. It makes me sad because I love Twelfth Doctor and just struggled to watch. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. I can definitely agree with that. Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, dang it. There's the haymaker. Don't kill him. Thank God. Okay, what am I gonna do? Okay, first things first. Let's get Riku in here. And let's... She's fast. Let's Mega Phoenix. No. Do I have a Mega Phoenix? Don't. Okay, that's fine. Well, Phoenix down Titus. Then he will provoke again. That haymaker thing is like, it's killer. Alright, and then let's Phoenix down Yuna. I miss Amelia Pond too. Amelia, Amelia Pond and Rory Pond, they were the best. They are like, they are the best companions. Absolutely no contest. Awesome characters. Yeah, Rory is a fave. He is awesome. Donna was great. Donna's great too. 
also love Donna. I mean, there's things I like about all of the companions. It was literally just, um, just Clara that I wasn't into. Couldn't get into her. But, uh, there's stuff I like about all the companions, but Rory's definitely a favorite, and Donna's definitely a favorite for me. Those two. Very much so. Shout out to Martha. Agree! Martha's pretty good, too. Like, all of the companions have, have stuff that's good about them. Except Clara. <laughs> but you know who the best companion was? And yes, this counts as a companion. Jack Harkness. Best companion. By far. Alright. Elys are back. <clears throat> okay, let's check how much HP he has. Oh my god, it's still so much. Never got tenant. Oh, for shame, Kendra. What's the matter with you? Get out of my stream. Tenant was the best. Oh, River Song is one of those face claims that was ruined for me, unfortunately. Not super into her. I was tempted to use John Barrowman as a face claim for Jack. I would have heavily supported that decision, Thumper, if you would have chosen him. Would have been like, yes! For sure. Because his name was Jack from Jack Harkness as a placeholder then, and I liked it. Yes. <clears throat> I'm for it. I like it. He's too young. Oh. I see. That makes sense. I mean, it is what it is, right? Oh, this fight takes so long, so long, forever fight. Or more, he looked too young. Yeah, he looks way younger than he actually is, for sure. He's somebody that's like that. Got 10k, but I'm waiting until Saturday. I can force my indecisive mind to make a decision. Well, Bree, you're going to be here for Saturday, right? For sure, because it's Among Us. You're going to play with us? I wanted someone who directly would be clocked as middle-aged man. Yeah, and John Barrowman is not that. <laughs> he is very uh, young looking. <laughs> he uh, is ambiguous of age, say that, basically. What lessons do I need to learn? Okay, once we're done with this fight, Katie, I will um, I will ask the tarot that for you. See what it says. Okay, fabulous. Oh, not you know. Come back, Riku. <clears throat> you don't provoke this guy. He's even more annoying because he's actually like killing you while he's taking forever to freaking die. If you do the provoke trick, this fight is just annoying. It takes forever. Longest fight in the game, I swear. It's not actually difficult if you know the trick. <clears throat> it's got to be dead soon. It's got to be dead soon. Come on. He lasts a long time. <laughs> That's right, Katie. He does. He do love you long time. <laughs> Too long time. I tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Can we do something else now, please? <laughs> I am bored. <clears throat> there is such a thing as too long. Exactly. 
There is definitely such a thing as too long. And this is it. Like I could fall asleep. This silly fight. And there it goes, finally. My god. <sighs> okay. Now, before anything else happens, so I don't ever have to do that ever again, I'm gonna save. Okay. Now, you can... We're gonna go straight there in just a second, but... If you go down here, there's some optional stuff, too. This isn't the way in. That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? Let's go investigate. Oh my gosh, thank you for gifting that sub to Katie Thumper. I really appreciate it. I don't want to fight battles right now. Just want to do a couple of little cutscenes before we're done. This land where Lady Yokun trained is sacred to the Crusaders. Lady Yokun was a member of the Crusaders before becoming a summoner. So this guy, this is one of the only people that this happens to. You can recruit them for Blitzball. And, um, oh no, it's this one. This is the one you can recruit for Blitzball. But after, after later in the game, they disappear. Um, so you can only recruit them for Blitzball if you do it, like, basically right now. They're not very good, though, so I'm not going to do that. I Summoner Yokun was once trained in this land. We Crusaders also intend to train here to challenge Sin once again. We've done too much fighting this episode. I'm done with it. Done with it. Run away. Yeah, so that's like a little secret down there. And then I think if I try to go into this optional cave dungeon area, we'll get... The other cutscene that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, other way around. Oh, you're right. I read that too fast. Katie, thank you for gifting a um, a sub to to Thumper. I really appreciate it. And Thumper, I hope you enjoy that sub. Faith is inside. As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where? Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Oh. Yuna, let's go. The faith awaits. So this temple is optional, just like the one that I went and got that primer out of, but then we didn't do it. So we're not going to do it right now, but we will come back to here. And we're going to go ahead and save here. Next week, we're going to proceed to Mount Gagazet. That's the next required part of the game. Um, did I do my sphere grid? Let's do sphere grid really quick before we end. Before we go do Pokemon. But we're not going to do that temple right now. It's not, it's not required, and um, there's some tough monsters in there. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for it for later.
I am baby. Oh, you meant food. <laughs> um, do y'all have a Jersey Mike's? We like to go there for subs, and it's pretty good. Uh, the the chain that we like to go to is Firehouse. Well, I guess Jersey Mike's is a chain too, but it's not as widespread. Firehouse subs is also pretty good. Both of those are way better than Subway if you're wanting a sub sandwich. All right. So that is that. We are going to switch over to doing Pokemon. So let's quit. Drag Photoshop over. Okay, be quiet, Final Fantasy. All right, so here's where we are on the Pokemon meme. Oh, the chat is in the way. That's right. Firehouse subs. Yes, we have firehouse subs. I really like them. Hope what's happening. Like freezing up, not clearing the chat. Okay, sorry if y'all had some hiccups in the stream just then. My computer went a little bit crazy. <laughs> okay, so this time we are going to do some Gen 5 Pokemon. So let's open up our favorite website here for this meme. And we're going to first look at the rock types for Gen 5. So here we go. And we're going to do National Dex number. Oh, okay. Sure, Kendra, we can definitely raid um, Alpha Teeth. They've come into the stream several times. They're super supportive. All right, so the rock types for Gen 5 are the Rog and Rolla line, the Dwebel line, the Tortuga line, um, and the Archon line. So my favorite of these is... Let me find where I've got my rock one. No. Where is it? Oh no, I lied. It's not my rock favorite. <laughs> it goes in flying. So it goes in flying. Let me show you all the flying types. Oh my word. Totally misspoke. So the flying types you can do are P Dove line, Woo Bat line, Sigilyph, the Archon line, the Ducklet line, Emolga, Rufflet line. Vullaby line, and then these are all um, legendaries. But yeah, I put Archon in my flying slot for Gen 5. Okay, let's go look at Archon's entry. This is what it looks like. Little, little Archaeopteryx. Ducklet. Ducklet is very cute. Ducklet is very cute, and Dwebble is very cute. I think I put... The... No, I don't have a lot of Gen 5 filled out. But anyway, Archon for this one. Said to be an ancestor of bird Pokemon, they were unable to fly and moved about by hopping from one branch to another. Revived from a fossil, this Pokemon is thought to be the ancestor of all bird Pokemon. So it's basically the Pokemon Archaeopteryx. I put him right there. All right. Next one, let's look at our steel types for Gen 5. Yeah, the flying has some really good ones. Really good Pokemon in the flying for Gen 5. Okay, so steel types for Gen 5 are Exedrill line, Pharaoh Seed line, the Clink line, pa Ponard, I think is how you say that, his line, um, and then Durant. So my favorite of these, I have a soft spot for the Clink line. I really like Clink Clang and Clink Clang. I think they're so cool. Um, I know they're like non-animal Pokemon and some people have feelings about those. So... But I really like them. So much so that I put Clang in my Steel slot. And then I put Clink in my favorite Steel slot. So let's read about Clang first. By changing the direction in which it rotates, it communicates its feelings to others. When angry, it rotates faster. Spinning mini gears are rotated at high speeds and repeatedly fired away. It is dangerous if the gears don't return. So, I put him right there in my Gen 5 Steel, and then my favorite Steel type is Clink, 
just the little gears and I love the X's for eyes. I just think the design is really cute and he's got like a little, like I guess this would be like a keyhole or something for manually turning it, but it's this little mouth and the, you know, the knob is the nose. I, I just love it. I love the design. The two mini gears that mesh together are predetermined. Each will rebound from other mini gears without meshing. Interlocking two bodies and spinning around generates the energy they need to live. They have to spin or they'll die. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my favorite steel type and we've got a bingo for steel types we've got a bingo for steel types as of tonight okay next we're going to look at the gen 5 electric types got a lot of good electric types too we've got the blitzel line we've got a molga the joltik line the tynamo line and stunfisk so this is another one where we're going to have two represented so in my electric slot I like to put Blitzel, this little, this little electric zebra guy. Its mane shines when it discharges electricity. They use their flashing manes to communicate with one another. When thunderclouds cover the sky, it will appear. It can catch lightning with its mane and store electricity. I feel like all the electric Pokemon have some kind of electricity storing power. So this is another one that has that in their description, in their Pokedex entries. So I put him right there. All right, and then I also love from the Gen 5 Electrics, Emolga. So much so that I put this one in my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon slot. And I just, I just love him. I, I, he's a little fly, electric flying squirrel. I think he looks like a sugar glider and those things are so cute. Um, I want one in real life. These are just, these are the best. These are the best. This Pokemon I think should exist in reality and be my friend. The energy made in its cheeks, electric pouches, is stored inside its membranes and releases while it's gliding. They live on treetops and glide using the insides of cape-like membranes while discharging electricity. So, it is baby. It is so baby. So he goes right there in my favorite slot for Gen 5. So, um, decent, more decent progress on Gen 5 here. We got a bingo for our steel types. So that's where we are on our Pokemon meme for, for this time. Let me go ahead and save that. Oh, no, I wanted to hit save. There we go. All right. All right, guys, that is the end of the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, we have about a few more minutes. If anybody wants to redeem another um, Show Me the Baby, it should work. If it doesn't work, just tell me and I'll figure out how to make that happen. And tell me if there's a kitten that you want to see. If you want me to go bring out a kitten, I can so do that uh, in these last couple of minutes. Um, but uh, while the stream is catching up and y'all are hearing me say that and you're considering doing it, because I know you are, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek at this, at this meme. Sasuke has become Catholic. I have never seen this for real thumper. This is the first time I've seen this. So I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all what um what they were showing what they were telling us about. This? I've never seen this meme. I don't know anything about it. But <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Katie, thank you so much for reminding me. We will do your tarot. We will do your tarot. I wish to hear the loudest baby. Okay, well the tabby one usually screams. We'll see if the tabby will scream this time, so I'll go get them. But first we gotta do Katie's tarot. Thank you so much, Katie. My memory is garbage, so I needed that reminder. No, I hadn't seen that meme. This is the first time that I've, that I've seen it. Or if I have seen it, it must have not made a big impression on me, you know? <clears throat> All right. Come on, cards. Open up. There we go. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> Scream for the angel. All right. Okay, let's move this to the side so I can shuffle better. Oh no, I just dropped the book. Hang on. Okay. 
I need that. <clears throat> What lessons do I need to learn? That's Katie's question. All right, Kawaii Taro. What lessons does Katie need to learn right now? Yeah, it is. Um, I really like this deck. And the cards are like card sized. See, they're not like tarot sized where they're all tall and stuff because um, my hands are tiny. So it's really difficult for me to use tarot cards that are like that tall tarot size. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. I'm gonna cut the deck again. So, what lessons does Katie need to learn? Okay, so we have in reverse, the Empress. Let's see what our book says about the Empress. Okay, so I think what's happening since the Empress is reversed and um, when it's reversed, it's about things like Overdependence and creative block and things like that. I think what's happening for you right now is you're relying on other people a little bit too much for like what you should do in a certain situation or where you're going to be most creative. And so, what I think you really need to be need to learn right now, Katie, is to try to generate some of your own ideas and trust in your own ideas and get those out there instead of asking everybody else what they think you should do. So try to next time you're having something going on that's either important to you or that's a creative venture, generate a couple of ideas on your own, do some self brainstorming, some free writing, some things like that before you go and ask other people's opinions. And I think what this is saying is that for right now, that's where your best ideas are going to come from. So good luck with that. I hope that works out for you. Um, I know that can be scary. I like to always get other people's opinions too. So if that's happening to you right now, I definitely feel you on that. All right, let's put these guys away. That was a good question. You're welcome. I hope that was helpful. I don't take these too super seriously. It's just more like, it's like a meditation guide, you know? It's like a, like a guided like a guided prayer sort of thing. Which, you know, sometimes that stuff is helpful and sometimes it's not. <laughs> but it's just kind of trying to get you to think about these things in a little bit of a different way than you might be doing on your own. Put it in there. Okay. Let me go get the tabby cat for Thumper. Hopefully it will scream again like it did last time. It's usually the loudest one that does not want to be picked up. So let's see if we can get some screams in there. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right. I will be right back with a kitten. Okay, Tabby was on the bottom of the pile, so I had to wake everyone up to get it. It doesn't seem to be awake enough to know what's going on, so it's not screaming, but I'll give y'all some close-up. There we go, see? Put it by the microphone. It does not like to be held up. 
this poor thing gets really scared when you hold it. <laughs> um, it likes pets and cuddles. It's just, it wants to be stable. So like if I put it on my chest like this, it's pretty okay. Um, but if I, you know, Simba, wee. <laughs> I hope those were some good sounds for you, Thumper. <laughs> I hope those were some good sounds for you. <laughs> okay, okay, I know, I know. Okay, I gotta take, I gotta take Tavi back. No, Queen. That squeaking summon Queen, y'all. <laughs> She's very confused. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Tabby is the, the screaming one. <laughs> All right, guys. It's that time. It's that time. Thank y'all so much for joining me today on Artistic License. Um, you know where to find me. You know how it goes. Here's all my socials in the chat and all that stuff. Among Us on Saturday. Be there. Tell me about your first roleplay characters. I want to hear all about that cringe. You know, I said it at the beginning of the stream. But I'm saying it again. All right. We're going to raid Alpha Teef. Get that going. Making sure I'm spelling her name right. Actually, I've never watched Alpha Teeth stream. I think Alpha Teeth is a she. If they're not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, 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 yes. They are she, her. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all have fun. Um, they're playing Nancy Drew, which I know is one of Kendra's favorite great games. So um, it'll be a good time. All right. Bye, guys. See y'all on Saturday.